Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Mini Max Sum. This is a revisit from the first solution. Uh, when I first wrote the solution for this problem, I didn't take the time to actually think about the complexity, even though the one that I gave you guys was an n log n solution. There is actually a linear solution for this problem. So I'm trying to rewrite the source code for GitHub so you guys can actually have it. And um, I feel like I did a crappy job, so I'm going to just make a quick video. And what we want to do is uh, still keep track of our mean. So we're gonna, the mean is going to equal, and this is going to equal integer uh, dot max value. And then we want our uh, max to equal uh, integer dot mean value. And then uh, we need our sum variable to add everything up. So it's going to equal to zero for now. Uh, next, we want to go over the elements in the array. I'm going to call this one uh, value or val. And we're going to go through each value in the array. So the first thing we want to do is we want to sum the uh, elements in the array. And then all we need to do is get the min. So the min is going to equal, we're going to use the math.min. We're going to go ahead and pass in min and the value. And then we do the same for the max. So we're going to say max is going to equal the math.max. And we're going to go ahead and pass max and the value. So once this is done, we just need to go ahead and print things out. So we're going to do a system dot out dot bring line, and then we want to go ahead here for the first one. We need to go ahead and print the min. So this is going to go ahead and be the sum minus the max plus. Then we're going to go ahead and concat a space here, and this is going to be the uh, sum right minus the uh, min for the max and this is pretty much it and now we have a linear solution for this problem so let's go ahead and run the code for this and we're good and let's submit all right this will be it for this quick tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.